Hey everyone, uh, my name's Calvin and welcome to my video tutorial for the double star map poster creator. Uh, in this video, we're gonna make a poster just like this one. And uh, as you can see, it's got two star maps side by side and they can each be set to a different uh, time, date, and location. So the first thing you should do is just download the actual product folder. It's gonna be a zip file. So uh, after it's downloaded, just unzip it and inside you'll find a uh, Photoshop document, a little folder here and a readme. And this document is the 8x10 or 16x20 size uh, poster template. If you want to use the A2, A3, or A4 size, it's in the Extras and Updates folder. And uh, this last file here is the README, and that has links to this tutorial. Uh, it has a little bit of information about this add-on. It's got my email address, just in case you have any questions or comments. And uh, most importantly, it's got the link to the star map data source. So this star map uh, poster creator gets its data from a free online source and uh, I'll show you how to use that a little bit later in the tutorial. But uh, you should choose at this point what size of poster you want to create, whether it's going to be 8x10, 16x20, A2, A3, or A4. So I want to create an A4 size poster. Uh, so I'm not going to use the uh, 8x10 size. I'm going to go in the Extras and Updates folder and then I'm going to open this one in uh, Photoshop. And uh, when I open it up, the first thing I see is basically the mock-up. And uh, don't, don't print anything from here because this, this is too low resolution. This is just for Instagram or Etsy or your shop listing page if you want to sell these uh, posters. Uh, to actually edit the poster, uh, you need to go inside the Poster Creator Smart Object. So open up the Layers panel. Uh, if you don't see the Layers panel, you can find that by going to Window and then Layers. And uh, it'll pop up over here. And uh, to open the smart object, uh, look in the layer thumbnail. And in the corner, there's this little page icon. Just double click that uh, and it will open up a new uh, document tab. Okay, so it's opened up the uh, poster creator. And uh, if I go up to my tabs, I can go back to the original one with the mockup. And after I click that smart object, it just opened up a new, new tab here. And changes I make in here, I can save and then they will be reflected in the mock-up, kind of like uh, your poster will sort of be put in the scene. So let's customize the poster. And uh, the first thing I think you should do is uh, drop in your star map data. So you can choose to have two different star maps. So let's do the right one first. Let's do this one. So I'm gonna double click that smart object again, basically using the uh, same process, just double click that little page icon. And uh, this kind of smart object here is gonna be a double smart object. So after you go inside, it opens up another tab, but keep going. Don't edit anything in this document. Uh, just open it up again. And uh, this is the final smart object, and this is where you'll paste in the star map data. So you can get that data uh, from that link I sent you. Uh, it's going to be in the readme. It's called heavensabove.com something something. And uh, I've already gotten it opened up over here. And uh, this is what it looks like. This is what the link takes you to. And before you customize the uh, date or the time, uh, go up and set your location. So up in the corner, it says location, unspecified, just click that link. Uh, it'll take you to the location page. I'm gonna type in Chicago and then uh, search in Chicago, Illinois, and then this is correct. Uh, your pin doesn't have to be exactly like above the location. It can be even a few miles away. It's totally fine. Uh, so even if this star map is for something over here in this park, uh, this pin location is totally fine. And uh, once you have your location set, uh, this is really important. Scroll down and click update. And uh, that'll take you back to the front page of the website. And uh, I want to go back to the star map. So I'm going to look down uh, under the astronomy header here and the second link there interactive sky chart and uh, this will take us back to the uh, sky map that we saw earlier but now you can see the location is set correctly to Chicago with the uh, proper longitude and latitude and uh, let's scroll down here uh, there's a lot of options uh, I recommend you turn all these off especially the names anything to do with names constellation names star names um, turn all that off because this poster creator can't do the names of the constellations so turn all that off except the uh, constellation lines. Now scroll up and set your date here. So you can set the year, set in the month, the day, the hour, and the minutes, and then just make sure you click update. And uh, that will reload the page and your star map will reflect the changes. And now just right click on it and do copy image. And then go back over to uh, Photoshop 
and uh, paste that image into here. So I'll go to File or Edit and then Paste. There we go. And uh, make sure you turn off the default uh, image there so you can actually see the one you pasted in. And uh, you can tell it's that one because it has this sort of blue glow along the edges. And uh, you don't have to move it. You don't have to position it or anything like that. You just have to save and update the smart objects. And the way you can do that is just by going up to the uh, Document tab and just Xing out and then doing Save. And uh, it'll take a second to load. And that'll take you back to that other smart object. And uh, again, just X out of it. You don't have to make any changes and just click Save. And it'll take you back to the uh, poster creator. And you'll see your star map poster is placed in there. And it's been redrawn at a much higher resolution. So I did get a lot of questions about that because the star map data that we copy, uh, this one here, uh, it's pretty low resolution. And people were thinking it was going to print uh, sort of pixely on the poster. But it doesn't do that because the uh, poster creator in Photoshop redraws that map uh, at 300 DPI. And uh, you won't see any pixelation at all. So I'm happy with the uh, way this looks uh, with that constellation in there set for Chicago. And if you want to customize the uh, text here, just go to the personalized text group. You can open that up. And then it's going to be the right map text. That's this one here. So just open up that folder and then go down here to the uh, subtext, that one here. And you can change that by double clicking the T and it will highlight the text. Uh, don't edit that text. Just edit this one down here. And then you can just use the uh, arrow keys if you want to sort of tab around in there and delete the text and enter the uh, actual location uh, that your map is set to and the date. Uh, I can't exactly remember the date, uh, but you'll just get that information uh, from this map and then just type it into the uh, appropriate place on the poster. And uh, now I'll close that, just kind of keep this neat. And I'm going to do the other star map next. So that's the left star map. So I'll go over here. And it's basically the same process. I'll just open up that smart object. Uh, it'll open up another smart object layer here. So open that one. And then paste in the, uh, the other star map data uh, into this one here. So I'll go back to my browser. And I'll change the location again. So I'll scroll to the top. And uh, we'll set another location. Let's choose Atlanta. That's easy. Uh, search Atlanta, Georgia. Sure, that's fine. And uh, scroll down and just make sure you click update. And uh, it'll take you to the uh, front page again. Just under astronomy, the second link, interactive sky chart. And uh, it'll reflect the changes. You just need to uh, change, for example, uh, the date to reflect the other date. Let's set it August. This is all fine. And then make sure you click update. Uh, the map will immediately reflect the changes. And it will remember your options that you selected down here. So just leave that as it is. Just make sure only Constellation Lines is turned on. And then you can copy this star map. So copy image. And then back to Photoshop. And uh, I'll paste it in here. Paste. There we go. And you don't see it because it's being covered up by the default one. So I'll just turn that one off. And then same thing. Go up to the Document tab. And then X out of it. And then save it to apply the changes. And uh, it'll take us back to this smart object. And you don't have to change anything. Just X out of that document tab and then click Save. And there we go. That's how you place the star maps. Uh, these can be set separately, obviously. And just make sure you go into your personalized text and update the uh, appropriate uh, text to reflect the location and date of uh, the particular star map that you have there. OK, so now we're going to go on to the second part of the tutorial here. And uh, I'm going to show you how to change and customize some of the options uh, for the layout of this star map. So let's close the uh, personalized text. Uh, just make sure with the text that you edit the T. Like double click the T, a little thumbnail there, and then edit it down here. A common mistake that can happen is you accidentally just edit the layer text. And obviously when you edit that, it doesn't reflect the changes down here. So all of the options for this star map are kind of split up because there's two different star maps, but on one poster. So all of these purple folders, these are poster related settings. And then these green folders are uh, settings for the right and the left star map. So the poster settings are basically on off grain, custom color options. Uh, for example, if you open that one up, you'll see this uh, color options, change color here. 
This is how you can actually just customize the poster color and just select a color uh, just like you normally would in Photoshop and then uh, click OK to apply those changes. And uh, just make sure uh, you close the folders. Uh, otherwise, you can get really confused with all these partially open folders and stuff. Uh, the next option here is a toggle option. So if I turn that on, it'll flip the color scheme around. And if I turn it off, it'll flip it back. Uh, I think I'm going to leave that one on. And uh, the next option down here is the poster border options. And that's this sort of double line you see. So if you open that folder up, you can see there's a lot of choices. Uh, so let's turn off the default one and try that one. Let's see, rough brush strokes. I think I like the first one actually, map edge border, that looks good. So I'll close this when I'm happy with uh, that option. Personalized text, uh, we already went over that. Uh, poster graphic options. So anything that's like a, a graphic that's re not related to the star maps is gonna be in this folder. So for example, you see this faint sort of world map in the background, uh, you can find that option in the poster graphic options. It's uh, the bottom one here, on off world map. And uh, the arrowhead as well, that's the top one here. And you can turn that on and off. Uh, but there's also a lot of other options. For example, the moon phase option. And uh, you can move all of these around by just selecting the folder, like highlighting that whole folder, and then go up to the move tool. And then you can just hold shift if you wanna constrain it so it moves in a line and just position it anywhere you want. And uh, if you wanna scale it, like make it smaller, you can do Control T or Command T, and uh, you can shrink it by holding Shift or Option, and it will kind of shrink it towards, towards the center there. And that's how you can change the size. You can also just move it with the arrow keys. So if you hold Shift and then move one of the arrow keys up or down, okay, that looks pretty good. And uh, to save those transform changes, you have to press Enter. And uh, I think I'll keep the arrowhead on. I like that one. But I'll turn off the world map. Just want it to be really simple. And uh, I'm happy with the poster graphic options, so I'll minimize that folder. And then I can move on to the right and left star map options. So I think the main ones are the uh, border option. That's this line around the edge. So if you open that up, similar to what we saw in the poster border options, you can just turn off the default one and uh, turn on another option. Just make sure if you want the star maps, both of them to have the same border, you'll have to make those same changes uh, in the other star map options. So let's pick map edge fade, boost circles. I think I like the brush stroke, so I'll keep that one on and uh, I'll minimize that option. And I wanna make the other star map to have the same border. So go over here to the left star map options, open up the border options there and just scroll down, turn off the default, and then turn on the uh, rough brush stroke option. Okay, so I'm happy with that, so I'll minimize that folder. And the uh, on-off toggle inner fill, uh, if you turn that layer on, it sort of flips the color around so that you can have a, uh, a star map background color that's opposite or, or set to white or set to dark. All of these uh, options kind of relate to each other. So for example, I showed you earlier this toggle global color scheme option. So if I go back and turn that one off and turn this one on. You can see it flips it around. But if I go down here and turn on that, it makes it solid. So you'll have to play with these settings and it's, it's gonna be a little bit confusing at first, but I think once you play with it, you'll kind of see how everything sort of works together. Uh, and then you'll be able to kind of visualize the star map you want and you'll know which options to go and uh, modify. So I'm gonna turn this toggle interfill off. I like it to be like that. Now compass options. Uh, same thing as the border options, you just open that up and uh, choose a different option here. So this, for example, this makes the compass markings large. Uh, you could choose uh, text options, degree marks, uh, any options like that. I really like the small one. Just make sure that whatever you do here, you'll also have to change over here. So try to remember the name and then just scroll down and make the same changes uh, down here. So I'm happy with this. I'll close that, that folder. And uh, you don't have to change anything in the right map advanced options or the left map advanced options. This contains the filters and stuff that make the star map work. Uh, so you don't need to modify those at all. So I'm happy with the way this poster looks. And uh, I wanna see what it looks like in that mockup, but it hasn't updated the mockup yet. So to uh, make that happen, just go back to the uh, poster creator and just X out of that document tab. And when it asks if you wanna save it, just click save. And uh, this will take a second here, but it'll place this star map, the one you just made, uh, inside the mockup. 
So here's what our custom star map looks like uh, inside that mockup. And uh, you have a few options here. You can turn the shadow on or off. That's that sort of palm leaf shadow. Uh, you can turn off the wooden frame option and just have this sort of minimalist kind of look. And uh, both of these, if you open them up, uh, they'll give you some options to customize the color so it sort of fits your star map a little bit. And okay. And uh, this is the document where you'd export your images uh, for showing off the poster or for selling it. And you'd save it as a JPEG by going up to File, uh, Export, and then Save for Web. And then here you can uh, set the size and make sure it's set to JPEG. And then save this to your desktop or something. Uh, and then you can just upload this to Etsy or put it on Instagram just to show people what your poster looks like. But don't print this. So this is not where you print your poster because it's gonna to be too low resolution. Uh, the actual print file you should make inside the poster creator. So I'll open that up again. Now when you wanna actually save the file that you're gonna to send to your printer, uh, go up here to uh, File, Export, Save for Web, uh, and then it gives you the same options we saw earlier. And uh, just make sure it's set to JPEG. Uh, make sure the quality is set above 60%, and uh, down here you can change the uh, image size. And this is the image size in pixels for A2. Uh, if you want to print this on A3, which is smaller, or A4, which is uh, smaller yet, uh, you can just save it as it is. You don't have to change the size and just send it to your printer and tell it to print it on that size of paper and it will scale it down and fit it on there. I, uh, I really don't recommend printing from Photoshop. For example, if you just go up to File, and then uh, where is it here, uh, print. If you do this, it, sometimes it works, sometimes you'll get errors. I really recommend just exporting it as a JPEG image and then printing that JPEG image like you normally would. So that's pretty much it. Uh, leave me a comment or send me an email if you have any questions. Uh, one more thing I wanna mention before I go is I got a lot of uh, questions about people who were having trouble copying the star map. Like they would do the uh, right click but they wouldn't see the copy image option. So actually, this is a problem with Safari. Uh, for some reason, Safari doesn't let you do that anymore. I don't know, they used to allow it, but there was an update, and now it doesn't work. So you just have to use Opera or Chrome or Firefox or pretty much any other browser will work fine. So if you have an issue with copying the star map, just try a different browser. So that's pretty much it, uh, everyone. Thank you so much for your support, and uh, thanks for watching.